hello guys and welcome back to another we daily one um alice not sure i, I think this is still pretty early in the week no, i'm not i'm not 100 percent on on that uh a very competitive lobby but mr catfish and the vlx anthony here as well Starting this one in ninth, the number on the door. Well, we're a big number 14. Excuse me, on the door for this one. And that that first corner threatened to lose a slipstream for us uh, quite a lot. This was a daily race B, four laps. But felt slightly better than the normal daily race bees as it was a slightly longer lap really. So it felt a bit a bit larger of a race. Slightly more patience. Ended up absolutely loving this track. This was on the same week as a, a group two grade C race around Suzuka. At the start of the week, I thought to myself, we will only do Suzuka all week. But when we jumped in this, after four, five, six goes at it, we started having a, a bit of consistency and a bit of a flow, knowing where to keep the patience and knowing what happens in a race scenario as well it's one thing driving around the track on your own and, and feeling like you know a track because then you go into a race and you know the track but you, you don't know how the race go the races are going to go where the incidents go down and you only learn that by having lots of races on a track eighth place at the moment side by side, up ahead of us. We quick four lappers in this one, so I think I shall try to squeeze the two videos into the one, if we can. More side by side action ahead of us, but again, we're not, we're not driving it very good at the moment. No doubt we'll be pretty happy, but we'll be improving. Oh, uh, the old Grand Turismo 2 for the price of one sale from nowhere, and we're up in the sixth. Mr. Johnson ahead of us. Just trying to keep our patience. We've also got a wee bit of a gap behind us now with slipstream lost. Catfish out front. Anthony. In second with Kryptonite. CRG Kryptonite. In third. Sixth place. Lap three or four. A small gap opened up. Let's go for the skip. If anything goes to go down, you'll see. What, what, what was that? Was there contact there? No, there wasn't contact. But something strange happened happened with him there on the brakes way too early and he ended up overcompensating and staying off them again too long still ended up going a bit too deep and it's a top five for us at the moment
time we've kept their patience when we skip up the hill and round the chicane and we bring it home. Let's get straight into another one because we have so many people asking for the famous loading screen to come back. Our yoga fans and meditating fans have been writing me thousands upon thousands of letters saying please bring back the loading screen. Enjoy. And hopefully, you've all used that period to find your G. I believe it's inside somewhere. I think it's called a G. When you hum at just the right tone. Hum. Right, what have we got in this one? Starting in 11th, we've got Sam in front of us again. C Fix Fox is in the house. Big Bonnie. And Anthony is here again on board. Let's see what's going to go down in this one. And it'll be another couple of replays done and dusted for me. Well, I need to get back under control with these replays. Try and get them all all built up so as we can we can be ahead of ourselves. And again. Almost lost that damn slipstream even before we got round that first piece again. Never mind the first corner. But no immediate pressure on the ass area. So starting this one in eleventh, we and we are number eleven on the door as well. This is the second account. Uh, a a lot of fun to be had out there on on a second account, gentlemen. If you haven't got yourself a second account and you don't like doing daily races and you don't like doing FIA races because it just ruins your your ratings and stuff and you can't be arsed with it get yourself a second account it's great fun and it can only help you on your main account if you were using it for the first three days, four days of the week, to do your daily races, anytime you jumped in, then by the end of the week, you could jump in on your main account, and you should be pretty consistent and reliable. Top ten for us at the moment. I will come round. To the end of lap one. And we'll have a small skip because nothing seems to be happening here. We skip along the street. Still not much happening. But the bunch ahead is threatening to come back. And make it a six, a six car bunch. Well, the guy behind us is just out of the slipstream by the looks of it. And it is indeed, it's starting to look, this, this game just looks beautiful whenever you're driving it and there is a, a wee bunch of cars all really close. It, it feels so nice when you're in a race with a big queue. Well, for myself anyway, it gets me awfully excited. And another bit of side by side action up ahead there. Oh, and he's almost lost the back end. And again, that can only help ourselves and Sam to get ever so closer. Again, they want another side by side. 
a lovely track this here for racing and, and, and having a wee battle on. Up to ninth. Lap three or four. Mr. Nils in front of us. Was there any anything left that day in this race? Anything inside the top lap? Is what the doctor ordered really, and no SR. Loss is all you can ask for. If if you can stay in the same kind of lobbies that you're in, then your consistency and speed will slowly but surely work your way up. Instead of jumping up and down, with threatening to throw the nose to the inside there just because he left it open and we did manage to get a nose there but he just defended that very well and there's still a chance of a top six here if those boys get into anything on up ahead As we come round to start our last lap, oh, we go for a nose on the inside of him, and again, nice driving, no contact. Again, he leaves that inside open, but we don't, we don't give it the full send. And look what we've done! Oh my goodness, we've dropped back to eleventh, twelfth. No, 11th at the moment, are we going to drop back to 12th? Surely we're not going to get exactly the number on the door. Slight contact. No harm done. And again, more stuff going down up ahead. The boys have not settled it as of yet. Was there more to be had that day on the last lap? Still all starting to punch up yet again. Oh, he comes over and defends it. Can we get a cut back on him or a better drive out? We do, but we've just nowhere to go. Just know where to go, hoping for an incident now. Oh, and again we've lost the back end. Thoroughly enjoyable track this one. The drive on and the race on encourages very close racing. And it looks like it's going to be a top 10 in this one for us. So, th thanks very much. We'll catch you in the next one, as it was indeed a top 10.